I'm John, this is Sounds on the Sound, and today we're doing the Cassette Tag 2023. The Cassette Tag this year is brought to us by Jason Skills. I'll leave a link to his channel down in the description here. Uh, consists of 20 categories and a bonus category. Unfortunately, I couldn't find all of my cassette cases, so I missed out on uh, three of them. But, uh, you know, I gave it the good old try. So I guess we'll just start with number one here, which is a tape from 2022. This is the... Split from Elminster and Erythrite Throne. It's a dungeon synth. Elminster's a pretty clean dungeon synth and uh, synth and Erythrite Throne's uh, got a little bit of rawness to it. The uh, set's pretty slick looking. If you're a uh, Looking for some good dungeon synth? It's a pretty good tape. Uh, number two, a punk or new wave tape. Now, I didn't have tech have any technically punk or new wave, but I did have this compilation from Punk and My Vitamins. This is the issue four compilation. Issue four. Uh, stand. This is more uh, post punk, I guess. So uh, the standouts on this one are uh, "Teach Me Equals" and uh, "Red Rumsey." It's pretty. It's a pretty good compilation. Probably not going to be able to find it anywhere. I don't even know how many of these he made. Uh, number three. A metal or hard rock tape. Pulled out this uh, Sirith Ungle. This is the, well, what's called the Orange Album. It's, uh, this is the 2020 reissue. They made uh, 666 of these. Classic. Number four, a tape that's still sealed. <clears throat> This is Aldius, the Imagination demo version. Uh, this was, uh, they put this out when Reno joined the band after Rami quit. Uh, I thought that this was her, like, debut into the band, but they had already done uh, the album District Zero, and this song doesn't appear until the next album, uh, Dazed and Delight, so I'm not exactly sure why they put this out, but it's a neat one. Most Experimental Tape. This is Abyss of Fathomless Light. This uh, was done by a fellow that I went to high school with. Uh, name of Burt Burgeon. It's very, uh, very experimental. Uh, Avant-garde noise type things with tape loops and symbols, but not played in a traditional fashion. You know, he, everything's very odd. Very interesting stuff. Uh, number six was a tape from the 80s. I was not able to do this one. I uh, could not find that box. So, And also number seven I wasn't able to do. A hip-hop or R&B tape in the same box. So, Number eight, though, I did get was a tape that you have on CD or vinyl as well. This is Necronomidol Nemesis. 
I have, I think, four copies of this on uh, vinyl and one on CD. Japanese Idol Group, my favorite band, or favorite group. Full stop. Number eight, the most expensive or valuable tape. Well, it's this uh, double release from Secret Stairways, The Enchantment of the Ring, and the uh, second tape is Turning Point. Two tapes in here. They're pretty neat looking. Now, I don't know. I think they uh, only put out a hundred of these. But uh, Discog's median price uh, current as of today was $86.41. And I believe six have been sold in total. Uh, number 10, a techno or techno slash electronic or synth tape. Vorsky prophecies. This is uh this is electronic. Not really into uh, electronic stuff too much, but uh, this one's pretty good. Uh, number eleven, a tape you bought at a show. Never bought a tape at a show. What are you going to do? Number 12, a tape with a colored shell. I think most of these that I've shown have uh, colored shells of some nature, but uh, I picked this one. It's Atum Chaosophy. This is uh, black metal. I think they're from Pittsburgh. Uh, this is their second album. They... Uh, have now broken up though, unfortunately. But there you go. Red with this uh, print over stuff they're doing nowadays. It's pretty neat. This case. Pretty reflective. Uh, number 13. An import tape from a country other than your own. Well, I'm from the U.S., so this was, well, not really a rough one because I get stuff from all over, but I thought I'd pick an interesting one. This is Corvus Neblus, uh, Strahd's Possession, Volume 1, and this is from Latvia on uh, Elven Warfare. I think this came out in 98... This is a uh, more dungeon synth. Really good stuff. This one's a classic. Number 14. Nothing to show on this one, but will you buy more tapes in 2023? Yes. A lot of uh, dungeon synth comes out on only tape. So if I want it, got to buy it on tape. They are starting to press a lot of vinyl now. Uh, for Dungeon Synth, and uh, CDs are, uh, people are asking for a lot of CDs now, so we'll see how that all goes. I prefer it on tape, though. It's an aesthetic type thing. Uh, what do I play my tapes on is number 15. Uh, well, it's way out in the living room, but uh, maybe I'll uh, snag some video of it. It's the Sony TC. WE-475 came out in 2001. Double deck uh, cassette player. Runs like a champ. <clears throat> Number 16. Show a mixtape or blank tape. Well, how about this? Brick of blanks. Six of them. Seven of them. S Buy six, get one free. These are uh, Memorex 60-minute uh, tapes. I've had these as long as I've had the uh, cassette deck. Uh, 
Okay. Number 17. Show an album you'd like to have on tape or a tape you want on vinyl. I wouldn't mind having this release on vinyl. This is a uh, Feldgrau. Fire and Blood. This is a German group uh, sings about uh, World War One, which is uh, becoming quite a thing in the black metal scene. There's m multiple bands that uh, do this now, but uh, this one's pretty good. I wouldn't mind uh, getting this. It'd it'd be pretty uh, sweet on a 10 inch. It's only a five song EP, so they could probably squeeze it on a 10 inch. Oh, this is a good one. Show an 8-track or VHS tape. This, uh... How about this one? This is Clerks. I'm sure that a lot of people know this movie. But this particular copy, as you can see by the date, March 4th, 1994, the movie was released in October. This particular tape... does not have the soundtrack on it yet. It has uh, tracking on the bottom so they can get everything all done up, but uh, yep, no soundtrack on this. As you can see, it's only 89 or 90 minutes, and I believe the runtime of the finished movie was 94 minutes, so I'm assuming that this does. I can't remember if this has the credits on it or not, but I'm gonna assume that the last four minutes or missing four minutes are for the credits. I've had this for a long time. Don't even remember where I got it from. Okay. Number 19. Show your second, third, or 23rd tape in your collection. Well, I went with the 23rd, or at least, uh, yep, the 23rd from the first rack of drawers that I pulled out. This is Old Tower, more Dungeon Synth, The Last Eidolon. This is another uh, another great release. And uh, if anybody wants to pick this up, it also came out on vinyl. Twice, I think. Okay, number 20. A double cassette or tape from a box set. Well, here's Immortal, Pure Holocaust classic black metal, and this came out in this box set. I picked this one up for a pretty good price. It's got all kinds of stuff in it. There's a tapestry, a patch. Oh. No, there we are. Book. And it came, uh, it, you know, there's a poster and all kinds of, st oh my god, all kinds of stuff. And there's four cassettes and a pin. The first four albums, I do believe. So there we go with that one. And uh, the last one was, this is the bonus question, number 21. Show a single. Now, I don't have any of the classic singles in cardboard only, but I do have this. This is Shroud Eater. They're Doom Metal. This is another still sealed, because I have the album. But uh, this is a single, single-sided, one song. And I believe they're, they made 24 of these because each one has a hand-drawn piece of art from one of the members. Each member did eight pieces of art. And uh, I'm not sure which member this was. But they, uh, unfortunately, this band has broken up as well. So there we have it. That's the uh, Cassette Tag 2023. Thanks for watching, and uh, hopefully I'll get some more videos out uh in a more timely fashion. I think I'm going to do uh, maybe the metal tag, and I think there was a contest that I was going to enter as well. So, uh, 
I'll get those done as soon as possible. Thanks for watching.